coming out from behind the screens to talk about Windows Auto Patch in our special double episode, our experts answering your most asked questions on how to stay current and stay secure. And if we have time, the meaning of life. So stay with us. We have guests in the studio and around the world today to deep dive into what, why, and how of AutoPatch. Starting us are Josh Pointer and Gideon Bivlovich to answer the questions of what is AutoPatch. Thank you, Lior. When we look at how AutoPatch came to be, I go all the way back to our mission at Microsoft, empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. As we start to distill that into the area of enterprise computing, and specifically endpoint management, we see Microsoft 365 and Windows Enterprise coming together to create new ways of collaborating and communicating. And then you see that empowerment in the software and services we deliver as well. I spent a long time in IT and tools like Intune are amazing compared to what we used to have. Um, you can literally turn on a dime and light up hybrid work in a few clicks, and that's amazing. Exactly. And as customers adopt cloud management and cloud collaboration tools, they start to see improvements in efficiency. They can literally do more. AutoPatch approaches this idea of empowerment and efficiency from a slightly different angle. What if Microsoft could just do updates for Windows in Microsoft 365 apps for you? We're specialized. We build these products and have insights from tens of millions of endpoints being managed. So, we have an opportunity to do this for our customers and empower them to do what they specialize in. We often see organizations who just can't keep pace with updating for various reasons. IT talent shortage, lack of a robust updating process, being in the middle of migrating to the cloud, or other priorities. Letting Microsoft do updates, especially for no extra cost, allows them to do more. Keeping software up to date is critical to IT security. And Keeping users updated with features helps them in their daily job being productive. So with AutoPatch, we try to make updating as simple as possible, but no simpler. We try to prevent outages in your environment by using rings and groups. And then we'll also use all our inbound signals from across the product to be sure that we're catching things in our environment before they hit your environment. We got your back. The service is going to evolve. It has already been shaped by the feedback we've gotten since we started previewing earlier this year but the goal remains the same, helping you do more with less. Even though AutoPatch is relatively new, we have already seen some updates that have made the service more helpful. We are going to hear about where we have been and where we are going from these experts who are coming out from behind the screens. Up first, Bev Ashton, Mark Florida, talk about the importance of customers in developing the service. The Customer Acceleration team works closely with customers to understand and overcome product adoption challenges. As a result, we get a lot of feedback and requests for new or enhanced features and capabilities. For the most part, this feedback informs our roadmap, helping us to iterate the service to meet the needs of real-world customers. That's right. One of the first kudos we got after a big customer deployment was that the beauty, I may be paraphrasing a bit, but that's what I heard the customer say, the beauty of AutoPatch is its simplicity. And that's kind of our North Star. We want to make updating and patching Windows and Microsoft 365, Teams, and Edge something our customers don't have to think about. So what we have to do now is balance the value of auto patch between simplicity and capability. Striking that balance can be a challenge. There have been quite a few customers who want auto patch to do a lot more things. It's exciting that our customers are embracing the service, but with a large number of customers and perspectives, we always keep in mind how to deliver a simple solution. I have a great example of this. One of our first updates was to enhance the security of the service itself. Initially, we had access requirements that were non-standard, and that kept some organizations from even being able to try auto patch. But within about a month, we were able to remove that blocker, enabling more organizations to check it out. When our customers get devices enrolled and the service is running, IT teams have been really happy with how hands-off they can be. 
So the next area we set out to improve was getting more devices in each organization enrolled. And here we looked at the UI and saw where it wasn't rich enough. It showed that devices were either ready or not ready, but that not ready bucket was a little too vague. So we added a third tab, not registered, for devices that passed the prereqs but had other conflicts. Changing that breakout enabled admins to zero in on issues they could remedy more quickly and get more devices updating automatically. So in short order, we've made Autopatch attractive to more customers and made device enrollment easier. What's next? We talked about keeping the service simple, so we'll have to balance the asks we're getting without making Autopatch another thing you have to manage. And our customer feedback remains critical to that plan. So I'd like to highlight to current and potential customers that we're listening. Continue to make your voice heard in online communities and at the events we hold for Autopatch customers. Thank you for your participation. I can't wait to let you know what's coming next in the service as it evolves. Thank you. To tell us about deployment rings are Mark Florida and Adam Nichols. IT admins don't want to hear about an update issue from the C-suite. And lost productivity is lost money, and no one wants to be responsible for that. Ring-based deployment is the way Windows Auto Patch helps you stay up to date safely. Sometimes called progressive deployments, the idea is we make a small group of devices that represent most of your portfolio and push an update to those devices. When that succeeds, deploy to a larger group and so on. And if it doesn't succeed, we can fix an issue before it becomes a problem. This capability exists in Windows Update for Business, but what's great about having Auto Patch is we automate it for you, and we monitor each stage of the deployment so that you can get some sleep. And we're keeping the Ring membership up to date as devices come and go from the service, so there's a good mix in each group that you don't have to keep on top of yourself. Another advantage to enrolling in the Auto Patch service is that we can monitor updates from across our footprint, hopefully catch remediate issues that may appear elsewhere before they make it into your environment. We're looking at ways to make the rings more customizable while maintaining the ease of use that is fundamental to the auto patch story. Let us know how you'd like to see this feature evolve in our tech community. Customers tell me that they like Windows 365 cloud PCs for managing their hybrid workforces or extending the life of older hardware. I think they offer a great experience for end users and IT admins, but they're not totally hands-off from a management perspective. Right? Cloud PCs are treated just like physical devices. They run regular Windows software and apps, which is why they are so versatile in almost any environment and can be updated to take advantage of new features. So enrolling cloud PCs in AutoPatch is a great way to stay current without adding to your to-do list. When you're provisioning a cloud PC, you can enroll them into AutoPatch with just a single click. And if you've got cloud PCs already, you can add them to the service just like any other device. I've never met an IT admin that loves update management. When I was an IT administrator, I didn't love update management either but I do prefer peace of mind. And keeping software updates is an easy way to harden your security posture and sleep a little easier at night. Yeah, the nightmare scenario for an IT administrator is if a bad actor gains access to their network through an unpatched vulnerability. I know what you mean. Threat landscapes evolve so rapidly, patching is even more critical than ever. Keeping up with updates, researching CVEs, testing, scheduling, deploying, it's a full-time job. In my experience, it was something I had to do on top of my full-time job. I would have loved to have had auto patch back in the day. When you were an IT admin, you probably had to prove that devices are up to date to see which ones aren't and why as a big part of your job. Totally. Having that information at your fingertips and being able to seamlessly provide it to your security team is a big plus. That's critical in what we call compliance, knowing the update status of your devices. It's also super useful when you need to prove compliance to regulatory or standards organizations as well. AutoPatch is able to consolidate information you would otherwise have to pipe together from different sources in just a few clicks. 
we hear from customers that reporting is really important. So we're going to keep making investments into reporting and making them better and better over time. And just as important as what's in compliance is what's not. AutoPatch reports can help you run down issues and prioritize IT projects as well. Even though Windows AutoPatch is an automated service, it is still backed by real people here at Microsoft. And we are bringing some of them out of behind the screens to talk to you about working with Windows AutoPatch. While Windows Auto Patch is designed to manage updates for you, we hear from customers that timely and transparent communication are especially important during deployment. IT admin would like to know about upcoming update releases, progressions, and any advisory so that they can make informed decisions. These communications are available through the Message Center, Service Health Dashboard, Windows Auto Patch Admin Center, and even by email subscriptions. No matter how well we plan our update deployment, issues can happen and AutoPatch is here to ensure these problems are detected and resolved as early as possible. When an issue is detected, mitigations will be put in place to minimize impact to your business. At the same time, by leveraging the insights and the experts across Microsoft, we proactively troubleshoot and identify root cause. We will inform you throughout the process until resolution, which may include actions on your end, to streamline update deployment. And if you have any question or concern at any point, you can always reach out to us by submitting a support request through Windows Auto Patch Admin Center, where our support engineers will respond within 24 hours. If you have any feedback, we would like to hear from you in order to provide a great support experience for Windows Auto Patch through our tech community. Hi, I'm Alex Lopez. Today, I'm representing a team of engineers at Microsoft who are passionate about our customers and application compatibility. Time and time again, customers have told us that one of their primary concerns when making IT decisions is app compatibility. We understand that your business success depends on your line of business applications, and you need assurance that those apps will continue to work as you deploy new devices or upgrade your operating system, apps, and drivers. Because of that, Microsoft has made a big promise to our customers. Simply stated, our promise of application compatibility says that your apps will work with each of our new product updates. If you run into any issues at all, we'll help you fix them at no cost. If we find a bug in our products, we'll fix that too. Lastly, we'll engage software vendors on your behalf should you encounter any issues with a third-party app. We understand that when you enroll your devices in Windows Auto Patch, you place your trust in Microsoft to manage your updates. And that includes making sure that your apps will continue to work as expected. This is why we've extended our app compat promise to the Auto Patch service. We'll monitor the health of your devices and applications with each update we roll out. Stop the updates if we identify any problems and work to address any app compat issues that might arise allowing us to resume your updates. Thank you for placing your trust in Microsoft and the thousands of engineers who build our products with compatibility at the center of our decision-making process. We're excited to support your journey as you leverage this powerful new service. Now coming out from behind the screens are some of the engineers who have helped create AutoPatch and take us deeper into the service value and benefits. The question I get most about Windows Auto Patch is how is this different from Windows Update for Business? The way I think about it is one is like the toolbox and the other is like the carpenter. That's pretty good, Chris. Windows Auto Patch is built with the Windows Update for Business policy tools and deployment service. Large enterprises with robust processes for update management are probably doing progressive ring-based deployments of Windows 10 and 11 already, sometimes across seven or eight groups. So they're asking, why should they change? We want to take things off of an IT admin's plate and give them back the time that they need to provide more value. Beyond the setup of rings and schedules, enrolling an auto patch means you don't need to think about researching CDEs or evaluating payloads. The auto patch service is evaluating deployments across our footprint, and we're monitoring for updates around the clock around the world. And while we're weighing adding some more capabilities to the service, we're doing so with the goal of keeping it simple. 
the Auto Patch team is introducing the ability to automate Windows feature updates in the coming months, and this represents a big value add for IT administrators. Customers will remain in control of what updates they want to apply, and even if they update or not. But the service will help make it an easier choice to make, and an easier process to execute. We're rolling out this capability in phases. Phase one will work pretty much like quality updates, deploying progressively through four rings, though on a slower cadence to allow for more evaluation time and with the ability to pause and resume. This first phase will also feature reports that detail the feature update status and the operating system version for all enrolled devices. The second phase will be going live in the first quarter of next year and has some cool additional features. We heard from a lot of customers that they want to monitor the performance of specific apps on devices enrolled in the service. We're creating an experience that allows users to identify critical applications that will monitor, in addition to broadening the overall set of signals we use to measure update performance. Historical reporting will also roll out in phase two, and we'll have even more improvements in a third phase coming out around the second half of 2023. With the most recent update to Windows 11, we introduced hybrid focused productivity features and more security measures. And we believe that enterprises who embrace this latest update will see happier users and more uptime. And now that Windows Auto Patch can help administrators update with a balance of speed and safety at no additional cost, we anticipate seeing happier IT teams too. The combination of the update expertise of our engineers, the backing of our AppAssure team, and the transparency and control afforded by the service add up to give you confidence to move to Windows 11 with AutoPatch, knowing that Microsoft has your back. We'll be upgrading the ability to manage updates to Microsoft 365 apps in Windows AutoPatch in the first quarter of 2023. This will give IT admins the ability to do progressive deployments of these updates using the wave-based deployment features of Microsoft 365, all within the AutoPatch interface. This brings the ability to pause and resume updates or to roll them back. Initially, we'll support the monthly enterprise channel and are exploring other update channels to support. IT admins can use the Windows AutoPatch service and opt out of Microsoft 365 updates if they want to manage these workloads independently. One of our goals for the AutoPatch service is to make updating simpler for our customers so they can focus on business priorities. But in the coming months, we are going to add some new capabilities for organizations with more complex structures. We're calling this feature business groups, since that's how our customers have described the need themselves. The service today allows IT admins to distribute devices among four deployment rings and then follow a set cadence to apply the same updates to all devices and so on. Business groups will allow organizations to mirror their own business structure, following their device populations to give them more control over how software updates get applied, as well as the speed and schedule of a deployment. Each business group will contain one or more deployment groups that will have its own deployment ring, and IT admins will have the ability to have more control over the device distribution between deployment rings. Looking forward to future updates, we will continue to balance features and usability in close communication with users. So keep your feedback coming. IT admins love Azure Virtual Desktop for its versatility. When we launched Windows Auto Patch, our goal was to free up IT admins from the routine task of keeping devices up to date with the latest Windows updates. We have now extended this capability to include Azure Virtual Desktops offering the same value and tools to help IT admins easily and automatically keep them updated, similar to their physical devices. So AVDs, um, they can be challenging to update because they're not always on. There's a pay by use model. Uh, users can sometimes boot them for 15 minutes, five minutes, maybe have them on for a few hours. So the nice thing about auto patch is we've built in all the hooks and levers to kind of detect when they're up and when they're running. 
see how how long they're enabled or in use and connect the dots to actually get Windows updates triggered and going on them. You know, doing that work saves a lot of time for the IT admin because that's all manual work or scripting work that they would have to do and it, and it doesn't scale very well. But we've taken the back end and done this uh, in the service and enabled that. So when they're on for a certain amount of time, we're triggering those updates. And so they can feel confident that they are getting the updates and not having to spend so much effort and energy trying to do the updates on their own. Does Windows Auto Patch automatically turn on customer instance in order to update it? We don't. Users are the trigger, uh, and the triggers for this are when users log in to their VMs. We set some thresholds on when they log in, how long they're logged in, um, so that we can flow those updates and download them and cache them behind the scenes. But we don't, um, we don't impede customers by taking their VMs down. We don't automatically boot them, uh, so they're not available for use by customers and try to update them behind the scenes. We take advantage of when they are in use to download and cache updates and have those updates performed so that it has the least amount of impact for an end user uh, when they're using VMs, but at the same time, it's, it's not detrimental to their availability for customers. It looks like that we are out of time. So thank you everyone who has come out from behind the screens to talk to us and thank you for watching. Next time we will deep dive into Windows Auto Patch and answers the life most important questions. Until then, join our community at aka.ms slash autopatch community and read our blogs. Thank you all.